Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay. Today's video I just wanted to make a quick little video kind of talking about like post-grad life. I've watched a couple of videos that are kind of like advice for you know after college life after graduation and what to expect and stuff like that and I thought it was a little bit helpful so I thought I would make a similar video to kind of explain what my experience has been like and kind of how I've been dealing with it. So this has been my experience with that post-graduation life and if you would like to hear it, just stay on this video. So today was actually my first day at my grown-up job, my first job out of college. Um, I had an internship over the summer and that kind of gave me the feel of like the 40 hour work week and stuff like that. I think that the transition depends on what your life was like before graduation. Um, so every summer I always worked full time, 35 to 40 hours a week and I would also take classes or if I wasn't taking classes, I was still working full time. So I kind of felt like it was not a huge transition for me to jump into full time work right after taking classes, but it can be kind of a shock for some people who have maybe never had a job during college or they didn't work like a full 20, 30, 40 hours a week or whatever. So it can be scary either way. And also just leaving that whole, I'm not taking any college classes, I don't have any homework stage of your life behind. And I will say that that has been the best part. I mentioned I did have an internship that was 40 hours a week over the summer and it was required for my major. So I did have a little bit of schoolwork I still had to do with that. So for me, the schoolwork was just like, I would have to answer a discussion question once a week and then reply to someone. So I was already getting that feeling of, I am not in college anymore, I'm not doing homework. And it was a great feeling. And I think a lot of people who are just graduating can agree with me on that, that that is the best feeling is not having homework anymore. And I wanna talk about a little bit more about a harder transition that I also did go without having a job lined up for a while and like I said I was in a required internship for some people who were in my college and in my major they would take their internship like in a regular semester but I did mine in the summer in the summer section is more like that's your last thing and then you're done some people it's the same way or they'll just take like one extra class it probably feels a lot different than having just your internship because I already felt like I had jumped into like the real world. However, applying for jobs was super stressful and trying to find a job that I thought I would be happy in and that I had enough experience, which can be such a pain when you just graduate because they say it's an entry level position, but then they also want all this experience and you're like, I just spent the last four or some years in college, like preparing for this, when would I have done this? But if you are someone who is struggling with finding the job, honestly, you just have to keep hope. And I don't think it's a bad thing to apply for a bunch of jobs. I applied for several positions and tried to keep my options open. I have to go with who you feel like you're vibing with in that position and who you're gonna work the best, or who you're gonna work really well with. And I think that that is the most important part. You wanna make sure that you're happy in this position, especially since this is most likely a full-time job for you. And and you are leaving college life behind, so everything is gonna be new. So you wanna make sure you're comfortable in that position. And I really, like I said, I cannot stress enough, it is fine to apply for multiple jobs. And in the end, you're just gonna have, it is gonna be stressful. Like, believe me, I was anxious and nervous about having to turn down one person. I think everyone understands and you really do have to do what's best for you. That is my number one tip in finding that job. Make sure it is something you really want and something you're really comfortable with. So with that being said, I know that you could run into the situation that you have to just get a little job to get you by until you find the one you want. And same with that, do something you're happy with, something that you feel comfortable with as well. And maybe if it can tie a little bit into what you're trying to do with the full-time job, that's even more helpful. And I feel like I'm just giving these preachy tips because I was a vocational rehab counselor intern over the summer. And this is just stuff that I learned from those people and they gave tips for me that I think I can pass on for people in a job search. So I think that was a good step for me 
to also have some comfort in finding a new job is I knew from other people who were in my position that they had some tips and advice on what to do and it was just really comforting. Also with that being said, you are not the only person out of college who is struggling right now. A lot of people are. I felt like I was not finding a job and I could not find anything. And in reality, a lot of my friends were in the same position. We were all searching at the same time and trying to find something and you really just cannot give up hope. I know that's so cheesy and sometimes I get mad when people say that to me. But really, like I said, you just have to keep putting yourself out there. To go out and just volunteer into that experience. I think that is a good step in the door. I know for me, I had to have an internship and I really think that also played a huge part in getting experience and my college made you get one and I don't know if other people's schools do that or if you just do it for fun, but I think if you have that opportunity and you can make it happen, go out there and get that experience because it will play a huge part in your job search. A little bit about job search and then also how it feels to not have homework, but I haven't found that there's much else about adjusting to post-grad life besides like the job search and then just having more freedom really and that's obviously one of the best parts so I know there will be more and maybe I can touch on to this post-grad journey in another video sometime down the road but for now I just wanted to make a quick little video that's just trying to reach out to others saying if you're feeling stuck you will get through it I know it's cheesy, but you really will. And if you want to comment down below or message me or anything, I can try to help give some tips on. I'd be happy to help if you're feeling stuck and a little bit of if you're feeling some post-grad blues on trying to find a job, try to stay positive with filling your life with things that you love and your hobbies that you can keep yourself busy with. And if you really do need some support, you can always talk to me. I would be glad to be there for you to help you out. You can follow me on Instagram. It is at LindsNicoleYT. I'll put it down here on the bottom screen. And you can follow me there, message me there, comment here, whatever. Um, I would be happy to give any other advice I can. I know I rambled and was very repetitive during this video. So if you'd like to have a separate chat, go ahead and just comment down below. Thank you for listening to me ramble on again. Maybe I will make more videos that's more of like a coffee talk or rambling about other things. And we can just talk about adult life and getting through adult life and all that fun stuff. Thank to me today guys and watching this video if you enjoyed it. Do not forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you in my next video.